In this video, I'll share with you three movements or stretches that are great for your ankles and for your feet in general. And also, what makes them great is that you can perform them while you're seated. Let's get started in a comfortable seated position. Breathe. And whenever you're ready, let's begin on the right side. So what we will do first is just gently massage the foot. Starting with the sole of the foot, then the toes, and the tops of the foot. And while you do this, I invite you to even close your eyes and breathe. And immediately the body, the whole body responds to this massage by releasing tension, by relaxing a little more. And it's also great to activate the reflexes on our foot. And once you've taken a few breaths here, we're going to do some ankle rotations. So there are two ways of doing ankle rotations. The first one is where you just support your knee, sit up straight, breathe, and then you're going to use your muscles to actively rotate. So we're going to go five times clockwise, breathing through it, And then once you've done five rotations clockwise, go ahead and reverse and go counterclockwise. Again, remember to breathe. It's really important to breathe. Connect to the part of, your, of the body that you're working on where you want that release to happen. Wonderful. So this was the first way of doing ankle rotations. The second way is to have a more passive approach. So with one hand, I'm going to brace my ankle. With the other hand, I'll, I'll grab onto the top of my foot. And I'm going to allow my hand to do the work here, rotating the ankle, breathing through it, and allowing that release to happen in the ankle. Breathe. So like I said, this is a more passive approach. You're letting go of the control that the muscles had in the first version of um, the ankle rotations that we did. And let's reverse. So we go anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. Again, remember, allow your hand to do the work. Allow your ankle to feel the rotation. Breathe through it. Beautiful. And let's release and move on to the next stretch we're going to do an extension of the ankle. So for this, I'm just going to support my knee, grab on. So I'm going to place the heel of my hand on the ball of my foot, grab onto my toes, and then I'm gently going to pull my toes down. So here, you'll feel a nice stretch through the tops of your foot, right up to the top of your shin. This is a wonderful release for the top of the foot and the ankle. And hold it for about 30 seconds, breathe through it. You can even go ahead and close your eyes, connect with the sensation of release you feel in the top of your foot right here. And after 30 seconds, we can release. Wonderful. And just breathe. And the last one we will do is uh, a flexion of uh, the foot. Now for this, the way you're going to do this is you're going to place your hand on the sole of your foot. I'm going to just turn a little bit so you see. So my hand is on the sole of my foot. I'm supporting my knee again and then gently pressing my foot up. So I'm really allowing my foot to be pretty limp here. No, not trying to control this in any way, but just again, letting my hand push my foot up so that I feel the stretch going from the Achilles tendon right up to the calf. Just hold it here again for about 30 seconds, breathing through it. <sighs> Allowing that release to happen right here in the back of your ankle.
and then slowly release. Wonderful. Completely release now. Allow your foot to come back down on the ground. Take a moment here to release the rest of your body if you feel any tension anywhere. Breathe. And we're just going to repeat all of that on the other side. So please join me on the left side. We're going to just massage the foot gently. Remember to massage the toes, the sole of the foot, the heel and the tops of the foot. Breathe through this. And now we'll start with our ankle rotations. So first we're just going to do the rotations actively. So let's go ahead. So five clockwise, five counterclockwise. Again, really important to connect to the ankle, connect to your foot. Breathe. Wonderful. So once you've done five in one direction, go ahead and switch. Remembering to breathe. And one side for me always feels a little easier than the other. This is my left foot and it's, it always takes a bit more concentration for me to move my um, left side because I'm right-handed. So notice how it feels for you without any judgment. Wonderful. Once you've done the rotation, let's move on to the extension. So I'm going to bring the heel of my hand to the ball of the foot, grab onto the toes, and then gently remember to support your knee and pull your toes away. So you feel that release running down the tops of your foot up to the top of the shin right here. And hold it here for 30 seconds. Breathe. Enjoy the stretch. Just be in the moment, breathing, connecting with the body, body connecting with your foot. And then after 30 seconds, you can go ahead and release. Wonderful. And we've reached the last one, which is the flexion. So place the palm of your hand against the sole of the foot, support your knee, and then gently push the foot up. So again, remember to keep your foot pretty limp here, letting go of control, just allowing your hand to push the foot up and feel it from the Achilles tendon right up to the calf. And hold it here for 30 seconds. Remember to breathe. I know I say that a lot, but it's really, really important. Taking just a few minutes to breathe consciously allows you to bring in more body awareness, allows you to bring in more energy into your body. Instead of, being, instead of it being dissipated or dissipating, Breathe. And now slowly release the foot. Wonderful. And you can release your leg. Go ahead and take a couple of normal breaths. I really wish and hope that uh, you practice this um, daily if you can. It's really important for us to take care of our feet because that is, a, that is one part of the body that we tend to... Um, not take care of as much as we should. And our feet or the health of our feet has a great impact on the health of the rest of our body. So I do encourage you to try these out and implement them in your daily self-care routine. Thank you very, very much for watching, for following along, and I'll see you again very soon.